So we're ultrasounding this bladder. And it's fairly empty right now. Yeah. Now he's voided his bladder pretty good, but if you look, it's a little thicker here. So this uh -huh. is toward the ground. Mm -hmm. This is what we call ventral. This is dorsal. So here's his back up okay. here. And you can see we're thicker here mm -hmm. than we are here. So yeah. this has been going on a while. Yes. Is what that means. Second thing is, is that's a growth that's in there. And I know they bobs it and it came back a strip, but I think that's like, you know, picking up a grain of sand on the beach and saying, you know, there's yeah. all down below. Yeah. You're not getting a good, um, of where the true cause is. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like that growth kind of acts as a float valve and it comes up there and it plugs the urethra oh, or, yeah. or the pipe so it, it, it flows and then it drops mm -hmm. and flows and it drops. Mm -hmm. And then once it drops enough, then he can urinate pretty good. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Of course, many antibiotics he's been on for this long a time may be part of the reason that his smell has changed. Does that make sense? Yeah. But with all that preaching said, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, I would refer him to a, a specialty hospital like Lexington or UT. Okay. Where they got board certified surgeons. Yeah. You know, four yeah. or five surgeons yeah. working. Yeah, that's got to come out. Yeah.